So with a little drizzle that's falling right now, it's going to set the stage for some patchy areas of fog tonight, especially south and east of Toledo, where visibility may drop below a mile into tomorrow morning. And that's why we've got our hour by hour forecast ready to go for you. We'll prepare you for some of that fog that develops tonight. The most likely areas east of I-75 could really be anywhere from our lakeshore areas down into Wyandotte Crawford County, where a quarter mile visibility could very well be possible through daybreak tomorrow. Delays not out of the question or some slower travel will be possible where that fog does persist. Now we do have drizzle that is occurring right now. That drizzle, especially what we have at the Toledo Metro, it's reported we've seen it, but not quite showing up on radar. Some damp roadways that will be possible in a few areas we can highlight. Uh, we're looking toward I-75 just north of Buck Road. This is a very slow traffic in the northbound lanes as they see the windshield wipers just every so often as uh, that extends down to about 795 all the way through the DeSalle Bridge. Another area of slow traffic down toward Dixie Highway, perhaps blamed a little bit by the damp conditions and looking over toward uh, uh, Route 24, US 24 and I-475. We're looking at some damp weather as well. Low to mid 40s. It was a very mild day today and overall our temperature trend near 40 degrees is the average high this time of the year. Many days of above average temperatures and I know it is only early December, so I'm going to call it the way too early to tell white Christmas forecast. Now historically on average, we're right around a 35% chance. We'll be monitoring over the next couple days and weeks where that is going to be trending. I can tell you today was a very mild day. Let's bring in meteorologist Matt Willoughby. How about 50 degrees, Matt? Wow. That was just spe spectacular. Yeah, some people may not actually be complaining, uh, complaining about this, at least, but yeah, 50 degrees today, and that's something that we want, don't necessarily see often. Well, actually, above average for this time of year, the average high just this, uh, at least today, just around 43 degrees. So uh, that above average is just about seven degrees. And actually, we'll see midweek above average temperatures as we go throughout today. It'll be even warmer down south, but they'll likely see 10 to 15 degrees above average. So it's time out to do that hour by hour forecast. Some areas down south, like Austin and Mobile, be just around 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. Even pretty much any of the cities that you see will be above average for tomorrow and even into Thursday, but it could likely see more above average temperatures as we go into the next six to 10 days, especially into Northwest Ohio, where we could be well below average, possibly 15 to 20 degrees above average as we go into at least next week for Tuesday and Wednesday. So that'll be something to watch out for and as we look at those hour by hour, at least temperatures uh, as far as the month goes on December 15th, 39 degrees by December 31st, just around 36 degrees uh, for average highs, Chris. Like we're going to stay very mild at least through mid December. But Matt, you and I have been looking at the longer term trends. Perhaps it's late December when things do turn colder. Yeah, exactly. We'll see the, eventually those uh, averages get a little closer uh, to around 36 degrees and most likely getting even colder as we go into December and even into January. All right, meteorologist Matt Willoughby, appreciate that. And as Matt mentioned, mild conditions the next several days with the approach of that next storm system will mean mainly in the form of rain. And it is going to be Thursday night and into Friday. Friday morning that system arrives and there's the shower threat that's going to be with us Friday morning could just get some colder enough air on the northern edge of that system to tuck in a few wet snowflakes Friday afternoon. Overall, I would count on wet conditions. Any snowflakes that do fall would be melting nearly immediately. Upper 40s for Wednesday. Really nice day Wednesday. Thursday, we're in the mid 40s. Chance of rain showers. That's late Thursday evening that will continue to Friday. That's our most likely round of rain on Friday. Mixing it with a couple wet snowflakes. There's your mid 40s. Low 40s into Saturday, mid 40s Sunday, You're wrapping up the holiday shopping. We've got dry weather expected for this weekend and then early next week, mid 40s into Monday. Nice warming trend yet again, taking us to near 50 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday, where rain chances will once again become more likely toward the middle of next week. Those days that do reach toward 50, likely to be windy next week with the approach of a storm system.